What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is a quick update on Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Quant, and Litecoin. Uh, you need to be aware that Bitcoin, this is Bitcoin on the four hourly at the moment. You need to know that Bitcoin is has been struggling at the value area low. A break of this value area low could take us to 28,022 to the POC. However, a drop down could take us to the 25K zone, 25,000 and I would say around 25,060, 25,050 over here. This would be the value area high of this range if we get there. Now, we have bounced on the VWAP yesterday, which was a nice bounce. 800 EMA on the daily, uh, it was a nice bounce. But what I'm looking at at the daily is for the RSI to come lower than the March 2023 lows, which was at uh 28 so i want the rsi to break this i want rsi to do something like this we come down maybe come up a bit come down i want it to end up breaking this low and coming up and price action should do something like that we come up maybe we go down bounce 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 eventually the price will come down and not break this low that's what i'm looking for rsi to break the low on the daily and price not to break the low that will give us hidden bearish uh, a hidden bullish divergence would have higher higher lows on the price action lower lows on rsi levels to bounce i'm looking at if we go lower that's if this is a probable high probable setup uh i was saying to the people in the discord we are at the value area low if we get a bounce we could have a bounce up to the 28k zone and we do have a trend line an ascending trend line that was resistance and at the moment is support now over here if you look at the emes we have on the hourly we are below the 50 ame we're trying to get above it Fifteen minutes. We are pushing up now. What I'm looking at is on the four hourly. We have we had a move down in a correction. We we're expecting an A, and this was a B. The B, <coughs> excuse me. The B wave ended, and we're coming down the C, and we're coming down the C. We had an A, B, C, D, uh, possibly A, B, and a C over here, a D over here, an E over here, and then the breakdown. So when we broke down, we had, this is our C wave. You could count it like that. We had a one, two, a three, four, and a five making a first wave. Or there is another way of counting this. You could say this was an A, this was a B, and we started a C. And the C, we had a one, two, and this is the third wave. If this wave down is the third wave, we can project that the wave four, I believe, doesn't come above the 27, eight. That would be uh, the best thing. If, the wave 4 holds a 0.5 fib at around 27.8. Once we start breaking the 28.3 and the 28.9, then we are going to be saying that probably our count is different and we are uh, immediately moving out here and going higher. Uh, that's for Bitcoin. On the other hand, Ethereum. Uh, one more thing for Bitcoin. Let's look at this chart. Yeah, we broke down the fib channel. Next fib channel is way down here and uh 24154 that is way down that will align with the 200 eme i believe uh, possibly it will come down on the 18th that the 200 eme over here on the 18th in about two days will be hitting this fib channel so if this comes down in two days we'll have a confluence of support around the 24 7 24 5 i mean 25k possibly if it goes higher it's a weekend usually on weekend we do have some chop action and the chop action doesn't have to be s uh, straight uh, sideways it could be moving up slowly and chopping upwards in a corrective wave up now if you go quick on the ethereum chart ethereum chart uh i've been uh, looking at this we are also getting rejected at the value area low it's funny how all of them are doing the same thing at the value area low but if ethereum can claim this and Ethereum is trying to hold a trend line over here. You could see it was support uh, resistance over here and some kind of support over here. Let me adjust it. 
we could put it over here yeah so resistance here resistance here and we are essentially below support if we can break up the value area low which is at 1805 uh, we could easily go to uh, this is 1808 yeah 1808 we could go up to the 1839 or even the POC at around 1866 uh, Ethereum same thing about the RSI daily were not oversold but as Bitcoin got oversold on the daily I mean on the four hourly then we bounced same thing with Ethereum we got oversold <coughs> on the hourly but I'm look on the four hourly uh, Solana same thing if you can't get above 20.9 which at the moment we are slightly above it which is a good thing we could be going up to the POC at 24 3 to 2 we haven't been there uh, since uh 19th april but if we can hold this we could go up if we cannot hold it then we come down to my target 18343 simple as that nothing complicated nothing complicated it's just level to level uh that's what the charts show me unfortunately that's what i see if it's different then i'll tell you it's different but that's what i see for the moment uh we're gonna have some volatility coming in the next few hours and then again tomorrow we're going to have the weekly candle close during the same time you'll have the volatility uh, 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 during the daily the weekly candle close obviously the new daily candle open tomorrow will be a volatile time i i believe we could range here possibly push up till tomorrow spike up only monday and tuesday to come down but how high uh i'm not sure but uh, for bitcoin as i said 27.8 should be a target you should watch uh solana if this is an a b and we're coming down the c <coughs> and the c has a one two and we're in our third of our c wave uh it could be very uh very dumpy and uh we shouldn't break the 24 dollar zone if we break that then it makes another story even if we start getting into the 23.3 quant as i showed you before i've had this level for a long time look at the lower price of this candle look at the low of this candle 101.51 a level i've marked out for so so long hit it exactly to the cent you can't say that algorithms are not playing the charts uh litecoin if you can't claim 85 you're gonna see 73 if you claim 85 then you could see 95 simple as that but litecoin is on um, some looks like a nasty double top i mean you had a head and shoulders here drop down and you're forming a double top and you're topping out probably in an eme uh nothing like that at the moment but you are below your 55 eme on the weekly so that's not good on the daily same thing you got your short sell signal on litecoin on the 5th of may if you took it you'd be a nice profit uh, that was at around uh, eighty-nine dollars. Four hourly, same thing. You're not claiming any EMAs. One hourly, you just got above the fifty-five EMA on the one hourly, and you got a sell signal several hours ago, earlier on today. And that could, uh, I mean, a buy signal, a long signal, and that could take you high. But how high? I believe if Litecoin can't get above this level the 85 then we're down to 73 and possible lower targets but looking at it in a structural way we are somewhat at support but i would like to see litecoin come all the way deep into support 65 possibly or something like that but once we break that we're going to flush it down and the technical target of this will be from up here around 106 and 65 that's going to be a flush out 106 to 65 that's 35 plus 6 that's about 41 dollars from here you're going to go down to 24 dollars i know some people online have the target of 24 i believe or 26 i think crypto savvy has it 26 or 24 dollar litecoin coincidentally that would match almost exactly the technical target so we take it from the lower peak of the m formation to the neckline over here and you can see that your target brings you down to 26.59 
coincidence. Let's see if that happens. Uh, I mean, you have a lot of lo levels contend with and to see. Now, if Bitcoin starts moving up or any of these coins start moving up and on the hourly, <clears throat> you want to see if it's volume supported or not. If Bitcoin is moving in light volume to the upside, I will still consider it as a correction as it did here. You see this candle was very high volume and the rest of the move was on volume declination. That doesn't tell me this is going to be the the impulse out i would assume this is a correction uh we might have something like this at the moment this is on the hourly we have an a up a b down very shallow b i don't know how is that a b but yeah a shallow correction maybe will come a bit lower uh we could we could bring it down uh all the way to the 0.5 say we drop to the 0.5 uh 26 364 or even the 0 0.618 26 I'll put it between the 0 0.5, 0 0.618. Then you could have a C wave that could take you all the way to 27.6 or 28.4. I don't think so. We should go above 28.4. So I'll say 27.6 to 27.8. Maximum 28,022 on my chart would be the end of the correction. If it's a correction, we come down. If it's not, then it's going to be something bullish. You can see we're moving up. You can see how the RSI spiked up as the candle moved up. Uh, very nice. <laughs> The RSI is moving pretty quick to get us to overbought territory. And if the RSI does this, now you're looking for this. Look at that. On the hourly, this is your RSI peak. You're breaking it. If you close above this, if you close your RSI above this peak over here, which was on the 10th of May, uh, 10th of May, yeah. But price doesn't close above 28,022. Price just does this, comes here, and say, gets rejected. On the other hand, RSI comes all the way here and does this. Then you know you have bearish, hidden bearish div, continuation of the downtrend. That's what I'm saying. You need to look at RSI sometimes. All right, that's my uh, update on the market, Bitcoin, Solana, Ethereum, Quant, Litecoin. If you liked it, smash the likes, join the free Discord, subscribe to the channel. And if you really like to support the channel, link is in the channel description. And in the video description, more trades, I'm out.